Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8. This is Beth. We are going to do a, what do you call it, a essay on commercialism. Well, actually, we didn't do it. Charlie Brown did it. And he is fed up with commercialism. And above all things, just uh, bah humbug, Charlie Brown says all the time. Not really, but that's his attitude. And then he finds out, even on, on his way to the theater, even his own dog, Snoopy, is going to decorate his doghouse to enter a contest on decorating to win some money. He's fed up with society and commercialism. So I printed out a bunch of logos from commercial stores and some I have used. I actually think I've used all of these. Um, not this year, but in a... Total, total of my shopping experience, all of them. Anyhow, one a lot more than others, and it's not the pretty blue box one. <laughs> um, there's only one thing that came from the pretty blue box, and I wore them yesterday, actually. Anyhow, anyhow, um, why are you chewing on my shoe? Stop it. Dog. Anyhow, so I decided to put a colorful background behind this, and since it is going to be a negative uh, thought process, Charlie Brown is negative. A lot. Gunner, no, no. Chew on your bone. Chew on your bone. So um, we decide. I decided to um, make it pretty. If we have to make a statement, a negative statement on commercialism, which it should be negative, um, let's make it pretty. So I look, cut out all these logos and um, some Christmas tags too off of a Pinterest printable someplace or. I don't know where it came from, printables someplace. And I'm going to glue these all down here. Some of my stuff that I just did gets covered up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's the purpose. And then um, a page out of the book where Charlie Brown is fed up because he's passing by Snoopy's doghouse and sees that he's decorating it very well for a uh, decoration contest to try to win some money. Poor Charlie Brown. He has a rough time. But anyhow, I liked this page. Um, I like how it all came together. I also used a lot of the um, paper that I got. It's a weird shape. It's like six by eight. It's a weird shape. I had no clue that's what I was ordering. Perhaps I should read details a little bit more. But anyhow, so um, it but it works for this. Um, and I pulled out some of those um, L Studios little tiny text box things and an Ali Edwards that says finding beauty in the mess um, and some stars I think from L studio years I haven't had one of those um, in a year at least a year but um, they're coming in handy for December thank you thank you so I just did commercialism and bah humbug on this as statements um, we ran out of space but that's okay it's Charlie Brown um, but I like how this works and I like how it all came together. And I backed everything with some of that weird paper. Um, not my choices of colors, but it is working and that's good. Uh, and then I realized I needed to cover the back of that. So that's where I went to the book that I got yesterday at the thrift store and um, worked on that a little bit as the background of this paper, this page, the paper, the page in the pocket and um, was framing the wrong side of the page. Luckily, my cutting didn't mess up anything on the other side. This book is a bunch of stuff from different Christmases over the decades of the life of the peanuts. Because I put here a little synopsis that was in that book about Snoopy. We haven't talked about Snoopy. Um, and we are finally getting to talk to, about him. Um, he is in the book and the movie on with the skating and the... Um, snowball thing and all that kind of stuff but this is the first time I've brought him into the realm of everything and trying to get all that in that thick thin little pocket is tricky but I did it and I liked how this turned out um, and now I have a back of just beautiful scrapbook paper to start with tomorrow so like all of this thanks for watching happy December 10th and I will see you tomorrow bye